guys, welcome to another episode of The Game Feed. This is episode two, a new series I created specifically just for YouTube, where we talk about gaming news and pretty much anything else related to gaming. Um, in today's topic, just kind of talk, want to talk about something that happened on stream on Wednesday. Um, it's in regards to racism in video games and if it's actually there. Um, and they, a couple of people on the stream actually, actually want to know what my opinion of it was, and especially on uh, Polygon's article about The Witcher 3 basically saying it's racist, which I don't see it, honestly, and I didn't see it with Resident Evil 5 or pretty much any game, uh, for that matter, unless it's completely directed. But um, I'm not really the person to talk to about The Witcher 3, considering the fact I never played it. Um, but from what I could tell, there's no racism whatsoever. I did play the first and second one, a little bit of them, not, not much to get the backstory, but, um, the, the Polygon article basically says there's a lack of diversity and, um, everybody's white. And this is a Polish developer, I believe, so, I mean, I don't think, um, there's that many, that culture surrounded with, you know, black people, Asian people, stuff like that. It's not like America. We have a melting pot of, you know, a bunch of different races uh, and ethnicities and stuff like that. I don't think they really have that in Poland. I'm, I'm not saying they don't, but it's it's a Polish-style game, if that makes sense. It's, it takes, it's what they know. So it'd be like if... Um, a uh, black guy, a bunch of African Americans, or some Asian guys decided to make a video game, and it just had black people or Asian people, and a lack of Hispanic. It's the same thing. It's not really racist. It's just, you know, what you're what you're around, what you've been around your whole life, and you know, that's how I see it. Um, it's definitely definitely not the best words to describe it. I know that, but um, this could dates back even further than the most I remember is Resident Evil 5. Um, that guy came in a lot of trouble because of um, you're in Africa shooting black zombies. Well, in Africa there are a lot of black people. That's that's true. That's, that's a lot of black people in Africa. And I, I still didn't see it because, you know, that origin. If somebody came to I don't know, let's say Resident Evil took place in Japan. It's mainly just going to be Japanese white people. That's it. And all, I mean, I haven't got away with my words today. <laughs> but that's the best I can explain it. No, I don't see racism unless it's like in there and there's the KKK or something like that that's actually created the game and there's like forced racism. I don't see it. Um, like I said, I haven't played Witcher 3. But I've read enough about it and read the uh, Polygon article, article and also listened to quite a few different things about it, especially uh, Boogie2988 and Total Biscuit. They had their words about it. So, um, yeah, I don't see it. But um, next topic we're going to talk about is just E3. Like I said, it's, it's just a few days starting Monday. Um, I believe uh, we have Microsoft... Nintendo and Sony, they're going to have theirs. I think they're all on Monday, but I'm not sure. But uh, next week, you'll start. You'll probably see at least three of these. Um, and I'm going to talk about um, one of the episodes, Nintendo. The other is Microsoft. And the other is going to be Sony. And not in that order. It doesn't have to be in it. But you'll you'll see uh, some epi episodes dedicated to that. And I'll throw, also throw in some things from the third parties, like EA, Bethesda, you know, all that. I might do a separate video just to talk about third party um, announcements. So that's something to look forward to. Um, and another thing, too, I just picked up the, the Tamriel edition of uh, Elder Scrolls Online, Xbox One. And <laughs> as soon as I bought the game, I, and I'm sure this is not, um, I'm sure it's not just the Xbox One's having the problems. Um, but. I bought the game. It's 55 gigabytes. I got it digitally, so it took a long time to download. That's not a bad thing. My internet speed, it can hold it. But um, one thing that I noticed is the servers. I was not able to log in at all yesterday, and um, not until just maybe two hours ago I was able to log in. 
But I'm hoping that actually gets ironed out because that that is kind of crazy. I was able to create a character and uh, just get into the first um, lobby area. I guess that's what it's called, the prison area. So it, it plays a bit like Skyrim. I mean, it's basically just Skyrim online. So if it's something you're um, interested in, it's probably not nearly as good as Skyrim, but it's still Elder Scrolls Online. Check that out. Um, definitely worth looking into. Uh, but next week we have, that's not next week, it's two weeks from now, we have Batman Arkham Knight that's coming out. So we'll keep that there. Now, in the comments below, tell me what you're um, looking forward to uh, for E3. Tell me exactly what you're looking forward to. Uh, tell me what you're not looking forward to. I definitely appreciate it. And also, let me know what you think about um, the way this, this is working out. Um, like I said, I'm not used to doing things directly for YouTube. Usually just do everything live, so something I wanted to kind of try a little bit new, so... Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you again for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Or if you want to follow me on Twitch, where I'll be uh, talking about more E3 stuff there, uh, twitch.tv forward slash panso6. Uh, be sure to hit the follow button. We're building up a pretty good community. So if we can get up to 200 followers on Twitch, which we only have 16 more. So if you want to come over, hit that follow button. Definitely appreciate it. And definitely hit the subscribe button because I appreciate that too. Now on a side note, um, Something else I was going to talk about. This is health related. Um, you may or may not see. Uh, there's going to be some weeks where I'm not going to have that much content put out. Uh, the reason for that is just to the fact um, I have a heart condition, and I also have <laughs> apparently I have clinical depression and anxiety, which I just found this out um, yesterday. Uh, I finally got a follow up from the doctor, and that's basically what they said. And um, they're going to be checking for blockages in my heart, which they think that's what it is. They think there's three. Um, and that is, um, I'm going to go ahead and say this now. That's totally my fault because um, I'm a big guy. I'm a big guy. And I'm fixing that right now. I'm actually um, starting a diet, working on that. I'm going to be walking every day. And I'm going to do a thing every other week, do a weigh down at where I start. So right now I weigh 340 pounds. I'm not afraid to say that, but that's that's how much I weigh. 340 pounds and um, I'm out of fucking out of shape. I take about 15 pills a day. So yeah, that's I'm fixing that. I'm working towards that and we'll do like every other week. Um, I'll be at the end, I'll say, hey. So I lost this much weight, and we have this much to go. Uh, I have a wedding coming up here in October, getting married uh, to my best friend in the whole world. Um, so I need to get looking good for a tux. I need to be like freaking Jason Safe and good. But that's probably I'm just be fat Jason Safe and good. But anyways, guys, thank you very so much for checking out this video. I definitely appreciate it. I hope you hit the uh, follow button. And if you get a chance, check out the Twitch channel. Uh, I have an official Facebook channel as well. There's a Facebook group. I think you find that in the description below. If you ever want to ask me any questions via Twitch, Facebook, just send them away. I'll definitely answer them for you. And I, guys, thank you very much for stopping by. And I'll see you next week when we talk about more E3. Good night, good luck, and farewell.